What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to sunny and snowy Denmark. Um, today is going to be a bit different because of the snow and uh, yeah I thought I would make like a traditional Oudstoppenel POV review but I'm not because conditions are just well they're beautiful just not for us so yeah I'm going to take you on my journey in Denmark we are going to cross the border by boat to Sweden to test and film the new Lamborghini Urus S and the Lamborghini Urus Performante so that's really exciting and we also get to drive the Huracan Technica and STO once again on winter tires so enjoy so let's start with this this is the lamborghini urus s as you can see now this is replacing the normal urus so it's not urus urus s performante it's just urus s and performante now this has a slight power upgrade 666 horsepower up from 650 and it's still 850 newton meters of torque what they also did is make it faster it now does 3.5 seconds to 100 instead of 3.6 and that's because they have upgraded the boost of the engine with launch control and of course it has that 16 extra horses it has got an entirely new front and rear bumper But way more interesting is this, the Urus Performante. Now this is the driver's Urus. No more air suspension, but steel springs. Uh, it's lighter. It's got an Akrapovic exhaust. And they did a lot to make this the driver's Urus. But like adding this spoiler. Um, completely new rear differential. Surprisingly, it's not more powerful than the normal Urus S, but they really focused on making this a dynamically capable car. So when I see this recipe with the steel springs and stuff, I think of the Kia Turbo GT. And for me, that's the best driving car in its class, the super SUV class. So I'm really excited to see if this Performante version can live up to that Turbo GT. Also have a full carbon fiber bonnet with these air intakes right here, or outlets even. But it just looks so cool. And I really like how they spec these. So the Urus S is more based on comfort and everyday driving. And the Performante with these bold colors is really out there, driver focused weapon. It's also two centimeters lower than the normal Urus S and they claim this is the best braking SUV in the world. And it's also got a rally mode. Now that's uh, something Lamborghini has been doing this year, doing like off-roady rally stuff. We now have a rally mode for this. And yesterday we had dinner and they showed us the new Sterato, which is the most awesome supercar and the most fun supercar ever made. Finally, a car company that doesn't take itself too seriously and just makes a supercar for fun instead of stupid numbers and performance that, you know, are just unusable. 
So I really, really like that. So my favorite one is this, the yellow performante. That just looks perfect, right? This is how a Lamborghini SUV should look. Yellow with a lot of carbon fiber. So now it's time to get in the Huracan Technica, which I have already made a video about in Sicily, but you cannot have too many drives in a car like this. So in short, basically this is an STL without all the carbon fiber spoilers and stuff like that on the outside. It's a more practical car, a daily driver even. Amazing sound, of course. Let's go to Corsa. Right there. Let's go. So we are now leaving some beautiful Danish little village at the sea and we are going to Sweden by ferry. So this is so different from what we usually do, but I really, really like this. This is more about the atmosphere and there's loads of it here. So that's the new Huracan Performante in again, a bold color, which would be a great combo on your driveway with this green Technica. Little Oetzelpanel advice. The Swedes loving their Lambos. Let's make a little noise for the Lambo lovers over here. Oh, that never gets old. do we have here someone familiar it's Jeroen Mull who you all know is a famous Lamborghini test driver and he also made a video with the Aventador S How's say hi Jeroen hello how you, how you doing enjoying this winter drive yeah really I just told him that you are the only host that we ever had a co-host <laughs> guest host yeah guest host that's the word I'm still very honored that I got to be yeah. on your channel like that yeah. With a cool car, the Aventador S Road. So go check it out, guys. Top right video. It's nearly at 2 million views. Go push it to that number and uh, make Jeroen a very happy man. Definitely. Well, we'll try to make you happy today. Yeah. That did sound a bit weird, Jeroen. A bit weird. So this was the STO I drove in Sardinia, the purple and gold one. Okay, so if everybody has what their an awesome spec. tickets for the ferry, we can uh, go yeah. through the states one by one, just scan the ticket here and then... Uh... Got it! So far it's been really fun driving these cars, but, you know, I cannot call this a review. This is just a driving impression. So please Lamborghini, please allow us to test the Urus S and the Urus Performante properly at our location uh, and then we can offer you guys a proper performance review of these new cars by Lamborghini. Police wondering why all these Lamborghinis are going to Sweden. They seem nice so are you watching German police? So how cool do they look when they are completely dirty and covered in snow, salt, ice, 
<laughs> I really like this look. Now, fun fact is that with the Serato, you get uh, a roof scoop or, yeah, an air intake scoop right there on the engine cover. Um, and that's because it's not the same as with the STO, which is there for cooling the scoop. It's there to cool down the exhaust and stuff like that. But with this Torato, it's really an air intake like with a Trofeo supercar. So um, they discovered that with the Storato driving in the dirt, uh, normally the air intake is right here, like with this one, right there. But it would suck in all the sand and uh, yeah, didn't really like that for like a longer period. Uh, and they discovered that the center line of the car, even when driving in a rally spirited fashion, uh, this is clean air always. This is always clean air. So that's why the Storato has the air intake on top right there so guys do let me know which spec of the performanza urus you like best is it the white is it the yellow is it the orange or would you go for a more basic under the radar spec like this urus s so guys welcome to sweden so we just came back from lunch and now let's have a little drive with the new urus performanza so what's really noticeable at the rear is that this diffuser part sticks out which is really quite weird and cool looking at the same time. So definitely the Performante experience with the carbon fiber, the Alcantara, that red detail right here, this stitching, that's very different than all the leather and stuff that you get in the other Urus. Wow, more carbon fiber Alcantara right there. Okay, turn on the ignition. Urus Performante. Let's go to Corsa first and then start it up. Let's go guys. Uh, let me check. It's this button right here. Oh sorry, it's not this one. Oh uh, maybe it Oh this is also oh, working. It's okay. Yeah, it's yeah. also working. Yeah, great. Okay, so I found myself a cameraman on the streets. And uh, we are in the Urus Performante. So that means we now have steel springs and you immediately notice that the car is a lot more firm and a lot more direct you get more feedback throughout through the, the entire car the steering wheel it's firmer it has more of a turn in and it's just a bit like the turbo gt like i expected well conditions are not ideal to uh, really extract and explore everything from this car but we are now on a highway and maybe we can do a little acceleration run to see if the extra 16 horsepower has given us extra performance too. So, let's give it a try. Let's not do a lane switch. That was a little bit of Mexico hidden between Denmark and Sweden. It's a little spot without a speed limit. A fun fact, go look it up. But what a beautiful day. It's um, nearly four o'clock and it's already getting dark here. Crazy. So, hope you enjoyed that. The Urus Performante. What a car. It's already quite impressive. I really hope that we can test it on our Autobahn spot in Germany someday and then I can offer you a full review. For now just this first impression we did an 8.49 with two persons in the car which is quite impressive considering the fact that the fastest run we did with the stock Urus or the standard Urus, the previous Urus, whatever you want to call it, was an 8.6. So 
good job by Lamborghini. This is really a lot more exciting, especially with uh, the Krapovich exhaust, the steel springs, the recalibrated steering. It really does make a lot of sense. So there we have the famous bridge connecting Malmo, Sweden with Copenhagen, Denmark. Beautiful. So that was it for the cars. Join me for a Christmas ending of this Lamborghini chasing winter video. Really, really like this new Urus Performante. You know, the Urus S, it really is like a nice little extra, but really in the spirit of the old Urus. And this is just a really new and great addition to the Urus lineup. And I really, really like it, especially in a bold color like this yellow. I am now the world's most expensive camera light. But what a beautiful sight. All these Lamborghinis at the sea. So guys, that was truly it. You join me in Copenhagen on one of the famous Tivoli Christmas markets or carnivals, don't know what you call this, but it is pretty amazing, I have to admit. Um, this was an amazing trip with Lamborghini and what an ending to this trip and this year. It's been absolutely amazing this year and I know that next year we are going to do even more amazing stuff, probably also with Lamborghini. And um, I want to thank you guys so much for this year, for your loyal support, uh, for joining us every day at five o'clock. Um, yeah, from me, from Max, have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bye guys.